Good morning. What's the principle behind God's action in history? Our readings of Jeremiah chapter 30, verses 23 and 24. Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goes forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind. It will fall violently on the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of the Lord will not return until he has done it and until he has performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days, you will consider it. So God made a universe and he filled it with free beings. It's a moral universe. There's good and there's evil in it because some of the free beings he's made have misused their freedom. They've used it to choose self-service. And here's a problem because human results to rebel, they rarely show all the pieces at the beginning. Usually it, something has to run its course before you see just how awful it was. So God didn't start evil, but he's guiding his universe through a process of learning, a process of coming to a better understanding of how awful self-service is. He's allowing evil to manifest itself temporarily, and he's going to eradicate it. He's going to completely remove it on the longer-term basis, but he's letting, it, he's letting us see what it leads to. He's not going to eradicate it by force. He's going to have it eradicated voluntarily. We will see it, and we will say, yes, this is what we choose. We choose good rather than evil. So there's a continuing conflict between good and evil, and on a temporary basis, a limited basis, God is allowing evil to show what it's made out of, and he's allowing good to show what good leads to. His interactions with the good and the rebellious are going to continue until he has performed the intent of his heart, until he's shown the outcomes of good and evil. Now, those results are going to become much more evident in the latter days when the final outworkings of evil have shown themselves in their full, and, and when the final outworkings of good have shown themselves in full. So the garden is ripening, the tree is ripening, the fruits are coming to ripeness, and we're living at that time where they come to their fruition. There's a controversy between good and evil, and that whirlwind is spinning. That tornado is traveling through the earth, upending every human idea and scheme. And we're going to see that God's word alone is that by which we should live. So the whirlwind is in process. We are there in the tornado space. And God is finishing his work. A dangerous and yet thrilling time to be serving the king. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want, Lord, that your kingdom will come. Help us to not stand in the way. Lord, help us to see what you'd have us to see. Lord, do good for us, not because we're good, but because you are good. Your whirlwind, your solution of this toward this sin and evil is going to bring goodness to your universe, just as all things you do do. But we are still at this storm that is affecting us and in harming people around us on every side. May we team with you, Lord, that your goodness may come, come in full. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So God's letting his universe see the outcome of good and evil. He's, he's got us connecting the dots, as it were. And we're nearing the final stages right now. Let's draw near to Jesus as we come down into the rapids of Earth's history. What a ride it will be as we do it with Jesus. God be with you today.